the medical management of acute coronary syndromes remains a challenge. Antiplatelet therapy has an important role in it. We know that from the CURE trial, where even in patients who were medically managed, clopidogrel beat placebo. It was superior over the course of 12 months. The data from PLATO, the subgroup of patients who were not invasively managed, also showed a benefit of ticagrelor versus an active control of clopidogrel. And then, most recently, the Trilogy data have been presented, and these data actually did not find a benefit of prazigrel versus clopidogrel, which was a bit surprising and against the hypothesis that uh, we went into the trial with. So uh, that was surprising. But I think it does clearly show which antiplatelets can be used in which situation. And all three antiplatelets look good in stented patients with ACS. We know that again from Cure, Plato, and from Triton. But in the medical management, it seems like prazigrel uh, doesn't have a clear role. At least it's not superior to clopidogrel. It is as good as clopidogrel we saw in the trilogy trial in the medical management of ACS. But because of cost issues, clopidogrel is now generic. And, and soon in the US, there'll be multiple generics available. And the price will go down pretty dramatically, even more so than it's gone down with the availability of the first uh, generic version. In the non-invasively managed patients in Plato, and that was a pre-specified subgroup and also a variable defined before randomization. That is, they asked the doctor, are you going to manage this patient with ACS invasively or not? And it's on the basis of that answer that the data were analyzed. Both in the non-invasively managed subgroup from Plato and the invasively managed subgroup, the data looked pretty good. That is, the overall results uh, were essentially recapitulated. And specifically to answer your question about the medically managed patients there, there was even a reduction in mortality as was also seen in the overall trial. So ticagrelor does look really good. And even though it's much more expensive than clopidogrel, one could make an argument, given that greater efficacy, uh, that its use should be strongly considered in such patients. Other than cost, though, um, a physician would need to note and, and be careful that uh, ticagrelor does cause more bleeding than clopidogrel. And in fact, in the medically managed subgroup, that was even more evident than in the overall trial. And also, it's a twice-a-day drug, ticagrelor uh, versus clopidogrel, which is once a day, or prazigrel, for that matter, which is once a day. And issues of compliance uh, might um, uh, bear their ugly head, depending on the patient and, and you know, how adherent uh, he or she might be.